See that little guy there? That is a striped cucumber beetle. And they are not fun to have. They're actually pretty hard to get rid of. And they fly. And they live on the cucumber and they eat the cucumber plant, but then they lay the eggs in the soil and the larvae eat the roots of the plant. And they're, you can come out here and pick them all off and squish them. Um, but that's about the only thing that works on them. So my little tip for you is if you can see around the bottom of the plants, I have just sawdust. If you mulch with like a, you can get the shiny mulches or some sawdust or something like that. They're less likely to want to lay their eggs in there. And then if you have a yellow container, so I just, this is the only yellow container I have, my watering can. A uh, yellow container with water and a little bit of dish soap in it. I don't know if you can see the little black things floating, but they will go in there and drown. Um, that seems to be the easiest way for me, just setting these out and trying to drown out all the adults. Um, but yeah, everybody gets something. I got cucumber beetles, but I'm still getting lots of cucumbers and my plants are big enough now that they can handle a little bit of it. I just got to keep on top of it, making sure they don't eat the roots. So, yeah. Cucumber beetles. While I'm out here, I might as well just show you how the rest of the garden is doing. So these are, these are the tomato plants and they are probably four or five feet up the trellis at this point. And there's tons, there's tons and tons. You can see all these, all these tomatoes, they're everywhere. Lots and lots. And then all my cherry tomatoes are at this end. You can see it's just absolutely covered. Oh, bumble. <laughs> just lots of lots and lots of tomatoes here. And then my kale, which is doing pretty good. My squash, if I can show you it, it's kind of hidden. Kind of hidden over here. Um, these, yeah, these are getting their acorn squash. So that's, there's a big one around here somewhere. But again, there's those cucumber beetles. Hey, get rid of them. See if this squash plant makes it to give me some actual squash. That's a Another acorn squash there. And then my bell peppers. I got lots, lots of bell peppers started. They're coming along fine. The plants are pretty big at this point. And they're just gonna flower out and grow like crazy now. Uh, jalapenos. I've been picking them for a while. I got lots of jalapenos. And the antro chilies are here. Again, they're done. They're pretty much ready. Ready to pick. Beans. Beans are just growing out now, so we'll have lots of beans soon to pick. Peas are peas are ready. <laughs> I really need to get get these harvested off because it it is covered. This plant it's five feet tall, and it is just head to toe covered in peas at this point. So, I will I'll come out here later and pick all these off, but got lots of peas. These are just more beans again. They're just all flowering out and starting to grow their beans now, so maybe another week or so I'll have a whole bunch of beans. Romaine we've been kneading just kind of as needed, and our butter crunch lettuce we've harvested a few heads of. I, these these were actually hidden, so I just have some parsley and dill. They were hidden under all the spinach, so I just harvested out all the spinach. Carrots are doing good. Beets. Beets, I can probably start picking these. They're good. Let me see here. Probably give four or five centimeters. That big. So I can start picking those guys out too. And then the cucumbers and the strawberries and the potatoes and little lone potato plants. 